It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. It was only opened in 2020, but quickly became one of the league's most recognizable venues. You're looking at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Joined by a former NFL quarterback, up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can grab if you'd like to, because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage and maybe six points too. Here's Tyler Bass to get this one started. And here we go from L.A. Here's Smith on the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So the Rams offense getting out there for their opening drive of the game. And they're brought out by the 16-year pro, rebounded from an injury last season, Matthew Stafford. Stafford just continues to fight off injuries, and he continues to battle father time. And it is remarkable. There's a lot of quarterbacks as we see him age. We see the arm fall apart. We see the wear and the tear and the velocity disappear. You're just not seeing that with Stafford. You can question how long the journey may continue, but you cannot question how productive he is when he's on that field. Stafford to the air to start us off. He'll get this to come. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. Back to the line they go. It's second down. The first carry now for Kyron Williams. He'll cobble together a yard there. Making the stop that time, Taron Johnson. Only a yard that time. So now they're left with third and 13. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up a defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually, you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. Drop play. This is Williams. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Four yards narrows the distance a bit, but still some yardage left here on fourth down. You know, some positive yardage there, Kate, but just as important, they're mixing up their play calling, and they could very well be setting up the defense for a big play later. Rams going upon on fourth down, and they're calling Ethan Evans to the field. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. Now we're going to have a stoppage after that return. Looks like somebody was shaken up on the play. They're out and set. First and ten. Allen taken right to the air. He's got the hook up to Cooper. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Second and three now. Running back sent in motion. From the 34. He's got this complete to James Cook. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. He gets six on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how 
I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Sending a receiver left. Throwing now on first down. Allen. Complete. It's Cooper. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. New set of downs for him at the 38. Allen now on first down. Heaves this one for the back of the end zone. Too far out of the back of the end zone it goes. Incomplete. I'll tell you what that deflection right there, Kate, tells me. That defense was following and reading the quarterback's eyes. Knew exactly where that throw was going. And it takes a little bit of intuition, a little bit of feel. He's able to get his hands on it and knock it out of bounds. Putting a receiver in motion. Allen going to throw again. Pass complete to Cook. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. The rookie from Michigan there that time. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Allen on third down. Cover man is there, and he harmlessly knocks it away. Incomplete. He was looking Amari Cooper's way there. And it's fourth down. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU, but as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that will get them on the board. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. now to kick this away here's Smith on the return he stopped on the return at the 27 drive starts out with a first and ten Shotgun snap to Sanford. Did not like what he was seeing, Brock, and he just hurls this one away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. The gut they go with Williams. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. That's A.J. Epinesa on the tackle. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. And the Bills bringing out an extra defensive back. Third down coming up. Working from the gun. Here's Stafford. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure 
earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. Ethan Evans back out there. They're going to punt it away again. He broke 50 on his first punt and looks to have done the same here. And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Let's come in here, Allen. He's got Khalil Shakir. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate. But it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces. But it can pay big dividends. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. He's going to loft one deep to the left. He's got it inside the 10. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the red zone now. Bales out of the pocket quick. And the ground game works for the touchdown. The Bills stretch their early lead to nine. Josh Allen the touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Bass gets the extra point to go. And the Rams go up 10-zip here in the first. Bass now to kick this away. Here's Smith on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. All right, here we go. Second down. They stay on the ground with Williams. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Brought down by Rasul Douglas. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. All right, it's a nickel set for the Bills. Third down. Stafford now against the blitz. He had it for a moment, but a complete defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. 
Went way outside there, trying to work that sideline, Brock. But by the time the ball had arrived, well, the defender had to knock that ball out. I think you see my reaction in the booth every time <laughs> I do. we see that throw because I can close my eyes and remember the terror that I felt as a quarterback <laughs> when you let that ball go and you're throwing it all the way to the boundary. There's some risk-reward, and that time, well, there was, uh, there was no reward. And he's brought down before the return gets far. 65 yards on the punt there. And the Bills will take over possession. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. First turn of the game for James Cook. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid 70-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and three. Stays in the pocket. Pass into the hands of Dalton Kincaid. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. And that's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instinct come to life. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Allen looking to throw. Escapes the pocket. Stepping up, and he's going to run. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Well, there was no sense in taking a risk down the field when a first down was just a run away. They'll get to reset now and figure out just how they want to attack a new set of downs. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. First and 10. Here's Allen. Finds Kincaid. And he takes it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills hold a 16-point lead in the first. Dalton Kincaid with the touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bills take a three possession lead. Bass now to kick this away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. They're out and set. First and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And he'll come up with a gain of three on the run up the middle. I know that may look like a whole lot of nothing burger on the stat sheet, but those are the kind of plays, that inside run, that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. Second down now, seven to go.
from the 32. That's taken in by Cup. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Now that is a potential drive killer. Defenders all over that one. It kept him from getting vertical after the catch. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Stafford from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, well, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Stafford now. Throw finds to Marcus Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And the Rams are going to have a first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Now Stafford again. Into a crowd and, oh, intercepted. Picked off by Terrell Bernard. And the Bills put together a wonderful return. Gets him back inside the 40 following the interception. Going down the middle, as you can see, you're giving them a real chance at making that pick. Might be a case of trying to force one where he shouldn't have. And you're sure hoping as a quarterback you learn your lesson on that one. First down, ball at the 36. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Gets this to Kincaid. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He finds Kincaid. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Offense set for a first and 10. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Another one for Cook. Tackle stops him after a solid game. He got five, and now it's going to be third down and three. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. All plays on the table here for third and three. Again, it's Cook. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. It's a six-yard gain. That sets up first and goal. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there, and he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. Cook scores. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. It's a James Cook touchdown. Well, Brock, not much to say other than the fact that this offense on point, they are just clicking today. Just rolling. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape, being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. 
extra point up and good from Bass. And the Rams make it a 24-point ball game. Bass now to kick this away. He fields it from the eight. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. A throw right side finds Cup. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Give to Williams from the gun. And his short gain gets them a new set of downs. You know what I like about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down, but you know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play action pass in a similar down and distance, and that defense is going to have to key on the run. New set of downs for him at the 38. Throwing now on first down, Stafford. That's completed right side. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. On first down, here's Stafford. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That sure ended up being worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Straight ahead with Williams. And they stop him after a good run that takes him down inside the 40. Seven yards on the carry, but still third and 15 coming up. Another run for Williams. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That's the end of one, and yikes, things looking a little out of hand already. It's a laugher so far, 24 to nothing. We'll return to Inglewood in just a moment. Ethan Evans on out a punt. And he's been one of the players of this game. Getting about 50 yards of boot so far, and here's another quality effort. Now this one, not much of a chance of it staying in the field of play. They'll mark it out at the 13-yard line.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Allen. Curtis Samuels there for the catch. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. Those routes across the field become oh so dangerous the longer that play progresses. It gives him more time to get free, wiggle away from that man-to-man -man coverage. And with enough time, it's almost inevitable he'll find enough space for a completion. From the 39 now, after that explosive start to this drive. Cook trying this one up the gun. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Cooper going in motion right. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Allen on third down. He's on the move. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. The big play nets him 17 yards. And that's good for a Bills first down. Well, I can promise you that was the goal from the moment he took off. He kept his eyes locked on the chains. It's almost like he had a spidey sense. He knew exactly where to get in order to move the sticks and get that critical first down. Connects on the crosser. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helped set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. This is Cook. And he's only going to get two or three yards on that one. Second down now, seven to go. They'll run it with Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there, and that leaves him with third down and five. Now Allen. It's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. He's hit once already. This is a short one inside of 30 yards. Amendola able to put it through. And their special teams converts to get them something out of that possession. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on a field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. Bass now to kick this away. Here's Smith on the return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. And 
And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Man in motion, out of the slot. Williams now on first and ten. And they're all over him again. He's dropped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. He'll get this to come. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. That's Gregory Russo who cleaned up that play. The defenders, they were ready for that throw. Stopping him right at the line of scrimmage. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Shotgun snap to Stafford. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? So they chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. The Rams are set to punt. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. Fields this clean at the 30. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. And he sure has put on that chef's hat to dice up their defense early in this one. Quite the appetizer that he's prepared to what could be a great overall performance. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Here's Cook. And it's a nice little chunk here. Six yards. Tackle made by Cameron Curl. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Now run by Cook. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third and a lone yard coming up. They're going to try to pick it up with an option left. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's good for a Bills first down. Hey, forget about it. Forget first down. For a moment, they were thinking touchdown on that play. What a time to deliver a breakaway run. And that puts a ton of momentum on their side for the next snap. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Now it's Cook, and he'll scurry forward for a pickup of three. Second down now, seven to go. Here's a give to Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. 
This is Cook on the handoff. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. Second down now, seven to go. They've got a man in motion. Allen on the play action. This throw is caught. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Third down, one yard to go. Allen looking to throw. Cut near the goal line. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. A gain of five, Brock, and now they're going to have first and goal. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. And they'll only find one yard up the gut, second down. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Now it's second and goal from the one. Throwing here, Allen. That one's incomplete in the end zone. That throw doesn't lead to six. So they'll be left with third and goal. Oh, that is, oh, that is such a bummer. A dropped touchdown right in the end zone. We're going to see how quickly he can flush this one. He better because they got to make an impact later. Cook. And he runs it across. Touchdown. The Bills making this a laugher before halftime. It's a James Cook touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Bass on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Bills continue piling on to this lead. Bass now to kick this away. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Off the play fake, it's Stafford. Got a man, Robinson has it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Give him 24 on that play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Safford now on first down. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Flat out a tremendous call. Perfect timing to blitz the corner, and the result proves it. There was barely time for the QB to set himself up to throw, let alone look downfield for a target before he was absolutely decked by somebody who I think enjoyed that chance to rush the passer.
Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the set. Cup on the catch. And he'll head out of bounds after a short game. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. So the Bills going with a dive package now on third down. Stafford from the gun. He beams one deep. He's got it inside the 25. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 38 out of the play. And the Rams are going to have a first down. Working inside the red zone. Oh, this is getting ugly early. Intercepted again. Matt Milano in to pick it off. 40. Into the red zone. And he makes the half go. It's a touchdown on the pick six. That play, Brock, that play was beautiful. Not just making the interception, but then seeing the return slowly come together in front of him as he took it all the way to the house. Yeah, I think even for us up here in the booth, it looked like a scene out of a movie, didn't it? Starts running <laughs> yep. it back, scans the field for a lane, then mm -hmm. the blocks come just in the nick of time to wipe out the would-be tacklers, and he's got open space and nothing but the end zone in front of him. Bass on for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Rams grow their lead yet again. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. Here's Smith on the return. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. You spring a big game like that, Kate, on the interior. Nine times out of ten, that O-line decisively won their matchup with the big fellas up front. They got those pads down. They created leverage, and they opened up that running lane. First down, and they go right back to him. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Tackled on the play by Taylor Rapp. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Stafford back to throw. He gets this one to Nakua. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Hey, Kay, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game when Pete Carroll was there. If he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. Stafford now on third down complete beyond the marker and they make the tackle at the 38 a nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that on third down nonetheless he took that snap as an opportunity and man did he make an impact play new set of downs for him at the 38 
They pick the handoff now, Safford. And that's incomplete. Wanted to dial up the aggressiveness there like that, but couldn't connect. Second down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now we're on the toss for Williams. And they're on him after about a two-yard gain. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Give him only a couple that time. It's going to be third down. I don't mind that call on the early downs. Give that defense something to think about. You got the inside run between the tackles, and whether it's jet sweeps or a little swing pass, or in that case, a toss, make sure you threaten to the outside. We're at the two-minute warning now from SoFi. The Rams trailing in the early going. Throwing his Stafford on third. To the sideline, catch secured. Wow, he made that one look easy for the first. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Throwing now, Stafford. Has him on the quick hitter. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Well, that's a modest little drag route. But if you ever just need a safe, short gain on a throw, that's a go-to route to target. Second down now, seven to go. From the 21. That's taken in by Cup. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. And this time they're going to get there and they drop him. Good pressure from the defense there has them trending in the wrong direction. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. you got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that sack. Going the wrong way. It's second and goal now, back at the 12. Another try following the sack. Cut near the goal line. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. So now, here's third and goal. Williams goes up and over for the touchdown. The Rams chop some of the lead off before the half. Kyron Williams, the touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. On comes Joshua Cardi to try the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And these guys take seven points off the deficit.
Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Ty Johnson now to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Just over 30 seconds left in the half as they come to the line. Throwing now on first down, Allen. Finds him over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's good for a Bills first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. This will be caught by Cooper. And he's across midfield in Rams territory. So we're in halftime in a game that's, well, honestly, partner, already feels decided. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half. Because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Return coming from the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Second and ten now. Coleman with the grab. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Offense to the line for second down. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. That's caught for the first. It's a gain of 22. And that's good for a Bills first down. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense.
They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Throwing here, Allen. Connection made to Shakir. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball into your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Again, Allen to the air. The throw is caught. And he drives this forward to the six. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Just a nice little reminder that this QB is more than a passer. They're going to call his number as a runner, too, especially if these defenses don't account for it. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And he scores. It's a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills grow the lead coming out of halftime. Keon Coleman, the touchdown. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. Bass on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Bills continue adding on to that lead. Bass now to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Rams and Matthew Stafford set to go back on offense. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Now Stafford to throw. He'll get this to come. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. Nakua nabs this one along the sideline. And he's going to be across midfield close to the 45 before going out. Second and six coming up here. They toss to Williams, headed right. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. They got two yards there. That leaves them with third down and five. 
That's pretty good reaction time, Kate, right there from that defense. The flow to get to the edge and cut off that toss play. What could have been a big gain is kept to minimal yardage. down from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. This one's headed for the sideline and out. We'll get the mark. They say it's at the nine where it crossed. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Allen to throw. Complete. It's Cooper. And he reaches the 17-yard line as he's hauled down. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Second and three now. From the 17. This one's quickly to Shakir. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Now Allen. Complete to Coleman. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on it. And then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat. Throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Now Allen off the play action. Complete out to the right. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Allen going to throw again. Looking slant route complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and then netted some positive yards. To throw again, it's Allen. Gets this to Kincaid. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. They kick the running back in motion. On first down, Allen. And that one's going to hit the turf. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan.
No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air. Allen. Cut at the 10-yard line. And he takes it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills keeping the pedal floored and adding six more. Ooh, baby, Brock, this one. This one has gotten well out of hand. Uh, you think so? <laughs> I think this is utter domination. Going to be a lot of questions yeah. to be answered. I'm going to guess this is a press conference the coach isn't looking forward to. Mm. on for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Rams tack on seven more to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. Possession switching back to the LA offense as they head out. And the open lanes, the beautiful windows that he no doubt dreamt about before this game, Brock. Well, they just haven't been there. It's almost like the defense challenged itself between the pass rush and the secondary. Who could make more big plays here? Yeah, you're talking about the difference between the practice field and then the reality of this game. Sacks, yeah. interceptions, and why we won't be the final judge on which area this defense has been the biggest winner. We do know who the loser's been, the quarterback, mm. who's had to deal with an excellent defensive showing. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Stafford from the gun. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Cooper caught the intended receiver. So it's second down coming up. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. On second down, a run with Williams. And hopefully a bit of a wake up for their ground game. It's a solid pickup there on the play. Six yards, the pickup there. That's gonna bring up third and four. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means, but one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Stafford now on third down. Makes the grab and bounds left side. He goes the distance. Touchdown, L.A. The Rams continuing to fight at least. It's a Puka Nakua touchdown. So no mistaking that play call, Brock. They send everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Cardi now for the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And his guys cut into the lead by another point. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. 
Johnson now on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. They're out and set, first and ten. Running back sent in motion. First down throw for Allen. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Working from the gun, it's Allen. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. Read and react, read and react, read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And then you got to react as it begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. That one ends up a gain of six. And that's good for a Bills first down. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. Allen now on first down. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Connection made to Coleman. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Throwing now on first down, Allen. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Only a yard for him that time, so now third and nine. <laughs> Throwing here, Allen. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. They'll come up first and ten. They put a receiver in motion here left. Cook trying this one up the gut. And they take him down, but he's able to get this inside the red zone. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. 
It gets you good yardage. It sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. From the 19, connects with Cook. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business both toting the ball as a runner and really importantly as a check-down outlet on short throws. First and ten. Here's Allen. He brings it in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, as they drive forward away, right now looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure has taken advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game. Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Mm. Just more and more equity. Certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. Bass on for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. Here's Smith on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Man in motion here. Safford now on first down. Finds his back, Kyron Williams. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Christian Benford up to make that stop. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Shotgun snap to Sefford. That's taken in by Cup. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. complete Naku on the left side and he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field second down now seven to go now Stafford again has him on the quick hitter and he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Rams football, and they're probably ready to just get this final quarter over with. So now here's third and five. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. 
They get 35 out of that one. And the Rams are going to have a first down. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. This time they're going to get there, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Kate, it's so common that we talk about quarterbacks flushing a negative play. But defenses have to do the same thing as well. When you give up a big play, you got to regroup. you got to calm yourself. And you got to know it's all about the next play. And delivering a sack like that certainly helps. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Give to Williams from the gun. And hopefully a bit of a wake up for their ground game. It's a solid pickup there on the play. Moving in the right direction. Five yards there, but still got a third and nine coming up. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign. Well, they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Throwing his Stafford on third. Has it in close. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field to keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Slides kick is up and good. And Brock, I'd say that's more of a moral victory than uh, something that's really going to affect the deficit much. That's right, imagine dozens and dozens of kicks into that net on the sideline, staying warm. Kate, he finally gets his chance to knock a field goal through the uprights. And of course, he wasn't going to whiff on that opportunity. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Going to the ground again on first. And he's across midfield into Rams territory. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. That's what I call a rhythm starter right there. Man, offenses love execution and plays like that on first down, Kate, because now that playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. Motioning him from the slot right. Here's second and two. This is Cooper working the left side. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's good for a Bills first down. Well, that is a well-designed route right there. He really made it easy to get that pass to him. Creating space, QB receiver, deliver. They've got first down from the 31. This is Cook. And they make the tackle at the 28-yard line. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven.
from the 28. Coleman with the grab. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. Because anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. They'll run it with Cook. And he stopped out of the 16 after a small gain. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. They kick the running back in motion. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Off the mark there, incomplete pass. He was looking for Keon Coleman on that throw. And things look tougher now with third and long. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Now Allen. And in! Touchdown, Buffalo! So the offense showing a, a slightly different dimension there, Brock, getting the running back involved with his hands for the touchdown. Yeah, such an advantage. I think when you think about it, Kate, it really is about the 80s where we start to see these running backs not just tote the ball as runners, but be real weapons when they get the ball in the passing game. Yeah. That's well done. Bass on for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Stafford from the gun. He'll get this to come. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. tackled with the first down yardage when they draw up these plays for the quarterback these are the type of results they're expecting Kate something that could tear a hole in the defense move the chains and just as importantly and maybe most importantly put a seed of doubt and thought into that defensive mind that the QB can run at any time on first down here's Stafford cup on the catch Second down now, seven to go. From the 42. 
This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. I'm just going to say maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Stafford now. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. You know, one thing I noticed, Kate, coaching youth football, everybody wants their kid to play quarterback. That is, until they get knocked to the mat. And that's now five sacks in this game, let alone the number of times the quarterback's been flushed as well. Not everybody is built to play quarterback. The Rams are set to punt. And this is going to put them up to six punts today. That's taken at the 15. And he'll scrape together what he can on the return. He gets it back to the 20. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's Cook. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's good for a Bills first down. That's the kind of run that shows he's trying to take some stress off the passing game to provide big plays. What a great help to that side of an offense when the ground game can deliver chunk plays too. Another one for Cook. And he's able to drive up past the 40. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. Well, half the hay is in the barn when you get five on first down. And now they're in such a good spot where you can attack those other five yards in any way you want. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. A tight end in motion now. Again, it's Cook. And this run's limited to a minimal gain up to about the 44. Give him three yards. That's going to bring up third and two. Now Allen going to the air. It's tipped away and he's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. And it's fourth and short. We'll see if they go for it. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And that hit at the five, but got the bounce it needed to reach the end zone for a touchback. The Rams and receiver Cooper Cup taking the field once again. And he's been reading the coverage, dare I say, Brock, even better than his quarterback has all game. I mean, he just continues to find openings and make plays in this second half. They're out and set, first and ten. Back to throw here, Stafford. Finds him over the middle. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit. And those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. Throwing now on first down, Stafford. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. A 
After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 36, his pass caught by Nakua. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. Stafford. Short pass brought in. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Bill's territory. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You train a little bit of speed, sure. But you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you gotta assume the ball's going his way. Second and three. Finds a seam down the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big 34-yard pick up there. And the Rams are going to have a first down. You throw it in the middle of the field, it's all about anticipation and accuracy. I mean, those are the two keys all the time in my book, Kate. But when you throw it in the middle of the field with all of the traffic, that's where guys with great anticipation and that tremendous accuracy come to life. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Shotgun snap to Sanford. Quick slate complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Might be trying to power this across, Brock. They've got three tight ends out there. It's first and goal. And he's got it, so they'll pull a little ways back with the touchdown. The Rams putting up points in a game decided. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. You've got to be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. Cardi now for the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And these guys take seven points off the deficit. Cardi has it all teed up and ready to send it away. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Drive starts out with a first and ten. On the ground, first run for Ray Davis. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. go again with Davis and he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down a gain of five and that brings us to the two-minute warning third and just two to go a 
Now it's Cook. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Pick up a five on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. From the gun, Johnson. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. To be a stud back in this league, it takes more than just checking the athletic boxes. There's an IQ, a feel, a patience and craftiness required along with just tremendous vision. He showed all of it navigating that run up the middle. They are now set for first and ten. Davis takes it straight ahead. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. So it's the Bills who come away with the win. And with the start they had in that first quarter, Brock, it is no surprise to see them come away with a victory at the end. They really did all they could to put this out of reach early. So for my partner Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bills as we say goodbye from Los Angeles.